Are you tired of juggling tasks like a circus performer? Does your entrepreneurial journey feel like a roller coaster ride where you're, you're every day just, man, you don't know what's coming next? Well, buckle up because I want to get you your ticket out of this entrepreneurial mayhem that we call time management. In this video, I'm going to dive into the world of ClickUp 3.0. I'm going to show you how to master time blocking. This might be a new concept to you. It was to me a couple years ago, but it totally eliminated the guessing games and that fran frantic last minute scramble as to what do I do today? What should I be working on? Hopefully, I'm going to be able to give you some tips to help plan your day like a pro in no time. Today, I want to cover the basics of time blocking, what it is, the how to set up time blocking in 3.0, and tips and tricks to give you some effective time management that have worked for me. Welcome to this video, Underdog Entrepreneurs. My name is Andrew Moon. I turn underdog entrepreneurs into calm, unstoppable CEOs, and we do that through systems and process. So this concept of time blocking, what is time blocking? It actually was introduced me to me when I read this book, Time Blocking by Luke Sievers. I read this a couple years ago. I'm rereading it right now and kind of refining my time blocking skills. I've linked to it in the description below. Uh, pick up a copy of that on Kindle. I'm reading it by Kindle right now. Anyway, I digress. Time blocking basically is a time management technique that breaks your day into small blocks of time. I know that seems super simple. Uh, it gives structure to your day so that things don't fall through the cracks. The whole point of it for me is, was to reduce the stress, the anxiety, and the depression that I had after not getting anything done of, after putting in a long day and feeling like I didn't really accomplish anything. It also has allowed me to train my brain to create healthy boundaries with time and to form healthy habits. Uh, as a result of that, I have better mental health. I have better task organization. It's allowed me to better prioritize what it is I should be working on at any given time. Obviously, that increases focus and productivity, and I'm sure that's why you're here. So let's look at the three time blocking methods that are covered in this book. And I want to show you, I'm going to show you how to do that inside of ClickUp 3.0 in a second as well. The very first one is task batching. So basically we're taking batching tasks together to do them all at once. Think of like checking emails and social media. So rather than having Outlook open all day, we have a task, a batch where we read all of our emails, reply all of our emails at certain times throughout the day. So instead of sporadically doing things throughout the day and letting things get in the way, we've actually batch process things throughout our day, the things that we've got to get done. The second method of time batching or time blocking is day theming. Basically, we're taking groups of similar tasks. Think like operations, uh, human resources, sales, marketing. We're taking all of those tasks that we have to do for that day or that week and we're actually creating a theme for the day where that is our theme for the day. We're actually blocking out a day of the week to work on certain tasks for an item inside of our business. That is day theming. The last one is time boxing. And I'll show you what that looks like actually on a real calendar in a minute. Basically, we're putting time limits on tasks and think also social media and email. That has been a huge pro tip. If you want to take that one away, batch processing and time boxing batch uh, emails emails and social media so in the morning once in the morning once in the afternoon that's my limit two times a day where i check email and social media so we'll show you that in in a second so let me show you what i've been working on and again hopefully this can give you some ideas of how to go about time blocking your calendar as well so let me go ahead and flip screens here i'm going to show you we're actually going to start with a Google Calendar. So it doesn't matter what calendar you're using, we're gonna start with a Google Calendar. And I'll, this will make sense too in a minute when I show you what this looks like inside of ClickUp. So what this is, is this Google Calendar allows you to take all of the things that you have to do throughout the course of a week and just put them on a calendar. What does your ideal week look like? And that concept of an ideal, ideal work week our ideal day, ideal year actually came from a, a video from Ali Abdal and I'll link to that in the description as well. So basically take all of the things that you have to do throughout the day, 
put them in blocks of time. So that's where maybe you start. Maybe it's just here. I want to inbox and social. I have all the same time every day. I have that blocked on my calendar. So you'll see up here at the top, I'm going to, I've actually shown you all three methods on one calendar. Day theming up here is for me, Sundays are growth. That's personal development, reading books, uh, taking courses, doing the things to build my self-improvement on Sunday. Monday's all about quick wins, just getting that minutia, that getting my week going so I feel like I've got, you know, got that snowball rolling downhill for the week. Tuesday is all about tech support. How do I help my members? How do I help uh, build customer support processes? All of that is on Tuesdays. Wednesdays is about sales. I, uh, again, this was ver version 1.0 was this calendar here. I used to do live streaming in the afternoon on Wednesdays. I've actually moved that. So again, the, feel free to customize this calendar where it fits you. Thursdays was operation, Friday was marketing, and Saturday's family day. So that is day theming. This is time task matching, day theming, and time boxing all in one calendar. And again, don't freak out if you don't use Google Calendar, that's okay. But if you want a copy of this, by the way, just let me know in the comments. I can give you a copy of my ideal week, what that looks like, because now we're going to flip over and get clicky with it. And I'm going to show you what that looks like inside of ClickUp. And this will make sense to you here in a second. So I'm going to go inside of ClickUp and we'll go back here. I'm going to go to my actions list. So this is my actions list. This is basically my to do list. And again, it's not complete by any stretch. So if you don't have a calendar view, so go ahead and click on calendar and calendar, and that'll create a calendar view inside of ClickUp. So inside of calendar, I have my calendar view here. And if you'll see over here in the right, let me close this real quick, because this is what it'll look like probably if you come in. You'll see this little tab bar on the side. So I've got two overdue tasks, 14 un unscheduled tasks over here. So now where it's gonna make sense is if you haven't already connected your Google Calendar, this is where you would do that. You would just click Add Calendar, Google Calendar. And again, that's the only option that you have is Google Calendar. So once you've connected your Google Calendar, if you'll see here, I'm gonna turn on my ideal week. So we're just gonna use this as a placeholder. So this is a placeholder of what my ideal week looks like. So I've got all of those things in there of, you, know, you see across the top here, there's all of the things uh, for my ideal week. So I can think about inbox and social. So that again, that's just to overlay. So if I take my tasks, I can drag and drop them on those blocks of time during the week. And you'll see they automatically go into the calendar. So that's how I use, you know, the, the Google calendar function inside of ClickUp to be able to manage my task. And that really allows me to, to drag and drop, go through my overdue tasks. And that's the whole point is just to have a placeholder calendar. And again, I can turn that off and see what my week looks like inside of ClickUp. So there's that task that I just did, get the growth map printed and bound. And again, this allows me to drag and drop, move that two points in time on my calendar. So I'm gonna go through the things that are all unscheduled and put them on my calendar. So again, the ideal week is just meant to be a placeholder so that I can get a quick snapshot view of what my ideal week would look like. And then I just move my tasks in line inside of ClickUp. So it's not super complicated. And that's what really what I wanted. It was something that is not complicated at all. Uh, I made that huge mistake of getting super complicated with time management and project management and getting ClickUp set up and it made it so complicated. So now I feel much less like a, super, a circus performer. I feel much more in control most of the time. Um, if you're like me, I battle from OCD, maybe a little attention deficit disorder. Sometimes that can obliterate even the most productive systems. I've actually picked up this book from Danny Donovan. This book, The Anti-Planner, How to Get Things Done When You Really Don't Feel Like It. So stay tuned to some future videos where I'm going to talk about how I have dealt with a little bit of ADHD uh, and how I've conquered and set up ClickUp to be able to synchronize with my busy brain. In the meantime, check out this full ClickUp playlist up here for my full uh, ClickUp tutorials 
and my masterclass as well. Uh, be sure to like and subscribe if you made it this far in the video. Thanks again for joining me today. Let's get clicky with it. I'll see you in the next one.